back, you're watching Overdrive. Now, since it began in 2007, the JK Baja SE has given engineering students an opportunity to convert their knowledge into practice by building four-wheel all-terrain vehicles. 2007 saw 27 teams vying against each other and this year there's a whopping 80 teams slugging it out for the top slot. Here's the action from Indore. the event Baha 2010 and uh, this is uh, the event where all the ATVs are uh, people from different college, uh, colleges make uh, all-terrain vehicles and they race their vehicles over here and it doesn't get any bigger than this this year the Baha SA India housed more than a thousand students at its 268 acre site near Indore and just like the original competition which began in Baja, California, Baja India gives the country's brightest engineering minds a chance to get their hands dirty. Designing and constructing their own chassis and transmissions to create buggies capable of a maximum speed of 60 km per hour in top gear. Not an easy task, especially when competing against your peers in front of the auto industry's leading lights. Well, uh, I think the growth of the event has been uh, better than what we anticipated when we started. Uh, we have uh, about 80 teams participating in that too because we couldn't take any more. Uh, we could have taken 120, 130 teams, uh, but we need to make sure that our infrastructure can support the number of teams that we have. So growth has been very good. Uh, the excitement, as you can see, is unbelievable, something that we never thought will happen. And the quality and the technology that's going into the product also is improving. So I think the, the event is uh, improving every year and taking shape, but taking shape very well. I'm very happy. We are from MIT Aurangabad. We are participating second time in Bahar 2010. We are now uh, team number 38 Leo Niners and we are here at the third edition of Baja to compete Baja and uh, we are definitely going to rock uh, this year. Our institution, institute is Bangalore Institute of Technology and out of the 70 odd colleges in Bangalore, we were the only college to be selected. As a participant, it was a different feeling. We have a excitement, enthusiasm to build a car and run it. Even I was the driver of my team. So I can experience a lot of thrill over there while driving the car. And right now as a judge, it feels good that we are judging the event in which we participated. Basically, uh, we have worked hard on it and we hope that uh, our car runs very well on track and we hope that our team wins this year. For participants, making the shortlist is the easy part. Day one of the event plunges the teams into a series of tests. A dynamic test for acceleration, braking tests, a slalom run to test maneuverability and the always entertaining hill climb which can make or break a team's fortunes. And if the buggy makes it through all of this with flying colours, the team moves on to day two and the events highlight the three-hour endurance race. It goes without saying that these guys are the ones who are going to go into the automotive um, industry in the future. And uh, it's a great opportunity for them to, you know, get just not be in the classroom for their engineering um, degrees. Here they're going to, you know, design a vehicle, make it, including costs, everything. There's so many parameters that they have to look into and uh, they're going to get points for. So it's a fantastic opportunity for these kids to actually uh, make something and then to race it uh, amongst uh, all the colleges of the country and to see, you know, you know, how they stand. Day two and it's time for the mega endurance run. Three hours of racing around a challenging 3.4 kilometer circuit. A year of research, fabrication and testing reduced to 180 minutes of adrenaline pumping action. A battle for survival. But who will emerge with the glory? Three laps into the race and the retirement start. Engine failures, mechanical breakdowns, simple overheating, the causes are many and the reactions all too familiar. But while there was disappointment for some, 40 odd buggies and drivers made their way through the ordeal and passed the checkered flag. Cheered all the way by their teams. And 
while the winners celebrated victory, the organizers are looking ahead to bigger, more international challenges next year. I was one who was advocating that unless our boys are to that level where we can compete with international drivers, we should not invite them. But now I'm very proud and I want our international affairs to happen very soon and maybe next year. After 48 hours of high drama and non-stop action, it was time for the prizes. And while Team MIT Wings from Aurangabad held aloft the winner's trophy, the other participants too were winners in their own right, having showcased their talent in front of the who's who of the auto industry. I uh, frankly, I mean honestly never thought when we started the event that the college students in India where automobile is not something that's sort of known very well or taught very uh, aggressively and that they would have this kind of knowledge. And I'm sure that they have developed their knowledge by reading, uh, preparing for the event uh, and, and the way they talk about brakes, the clutches, the suspension, the power, the throttle, this and that makes me, uh, makes me believe that uh, when they, if they come into auto industry, they'll do very well and help industry grow very well. And so as the dust settled on another edition of the JK Baha SAE, just like the participants, we at Overdrive are looking forward to an even bigger event in 2011.